Today I'm making some shrimp tacos and I'm using ingredients that I already have in my kitchen so I'm not running out to the store. And you can do the same, you know, you can improvise with this recipe quite a bit. I'm using, of course, frozen shrimp that I have. We're gonna marinate it with some wonderful spices. I also have some zucchini and some shredded carrots which I'm gonna, you know, grill up and just get a nice crispy edge on them, make it taste wonderful. And then I'm gonna add some sort of coleslaw kind of dish I have some buttered lettuce with some radicchio in it, so I'm gonna chop that up, add a nice creamy dressing to that to add to it, finish it off with some cheese, and we're good to go. It's nice and healthy, and it's absolutely delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. All right, so here's our first chef joke of the day. The second one will be a little bit later. So what does a chicken taco say? Guac, guac. All right, so we're gonna start off with our shrimp. I have uh, wild caught. I like to use wild caught because, well, it's just a little bit, I think, healthier. So I've got some really large ones here. These are 13 to 15 count. So for me, I'm just making two tacos and I'm gonna use three of these because they're so large. So the directions say to, to just run some cold water over them for about five to seven minutes until they thaw out and then we'll peel them. and then we'll start our marinade. Now that the shrimp is peeled and ready to go, I'm gonna make our marinade. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to this bowl here, a couple of tablespoons. You know, this just varies depending on how much you're making. What I'm using is Tabasco sauce with the chipotle flavor here. I really like this, it works great. If you don't have it, you don't have to use it. You can use your favorite. And I'm gonna add about a, I don't know, probably a teaspoon of this. This gives it a nice little heat and smoky flavor. You could also sub in like a chipotle chili powder. Now I like to use ground ancho chili powder, so that's what I'm gonna add to this because it has a nice mild sort of smoky flavor as well. I think it goes well, so we'll put a little bit of that in there. Now we've gotta have some fresh garlic because that really makes things taste amazing. So I'm gonna add some of that. And like I said earlier, feel free to add any other spices that you like. Ground cumin is a nice addition. Uh, you know, pepper is nice. Onion powder works. All right, this, so that's our garlic. And I'm gonna add some lemon juice to this. This is from my tree out in the back. Add about a tablespoon to that. And then give this a nice stir before you add the shrimp. And then I'll place the shrimp in there. And these don't have to marinate, you know, for that long, really. I mean, I did it for like, you know, 20 minutes and that was great. You can go up to, say an hour if you want to, you know, you plan ahead and you, you know, you get your shrimp thawed out and then you just toss it into your marinade and that's ready to go. Now it's time to work on our coleslaw dressing. So I'm gonna be using some of this Primal Kitchen mayonnaise that's avocado. Based. It's made out of avocados and it's, so it's much healthier for you. So we're gonna take like a couple of tablespoons of mayo and place it into our bowl. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream. Again, this is optional. You could add yogurt if you want or you could just do the, the mayo only. Don't you love this, guys? This is, a, this is like toothpaste in a tube, only it's sour cream. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit to that. And you can get the, you know, the written recipe down below in the description of this video. Be sure and check it out down there and you can see that. All right, so we need to add a little bit of zip to this. And so I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. That's gonna give it some tartness. And we can adjust this as we go. We might need a little more mayo. We want it the right, you know, thickness. We're just gonna play here, guys. Garlic powder. Can't have too much of that. We're gonna add some more of that lemon juice. A little bit of that, and I'm gonna add the zest. I love to use the zest. Don't go too deep here, just a little swipe across, get the oils, not the bitter part. So just do a swipe, and this adds some really nice uh, flavor here. And like I said, these are Meyer lemons, and they came out of my yard, and they are fabulous. They are really good. Now we're gonna add just a pinch of salt to this. 
Now, because we have our acid with the lemon and the apple cider vinegar, we need to balance that out with a little bit of sweetness. And so I'm using, what I have here is a select quality crown maple syrup. This is bourbon barrel aged and it is delicious. I got it at Costco and it's really worth trying. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's really, really good. It has a great flavor. And then we'll just give this a stir. Now we'll give this a taste. and see what we need to add. I think it needs a touch more salt. And I think a little more lemon juice. And that's ready to go. Now to finish up our little coleslaw dish, I've got my uh, butter lettuce with the radicchio here and I'm just gonna throw a little bit on my board and we wanna cut this up so that it fits in the taco easily. Now, if you're using coleslaw, you know, then you wouldn't have to do that. So it just depends on what you have. So I'm gonna place that into my bowl here, and then I'm gonna add the dressing, just enough to, you know, coat it. And that looks nicely coated. And I'm gonna place this in the fridge and keep it nice and chilled until we're ready to serve it up. All right, the last thing I need to prepare is my organic zucchini. Remember we talked about uh, using a few extra vegetables. And I also have my uh, shredded carrots, but you can see that those are already cut up, so I don't have to worry about that. That's a nice little um, you know, thing to use so that you can save some time. So I'm just gonna cut this up into, into chunks. All right, we're ready to head over to the stove and start cooking up our tacos. But before we do, I, I wanna share with you chef joke number two. All right, you ready? All right, did you hear about the new quesadilla joke? Never mind, it's too cheesy. All right, we're gonna start cooking our veggies. This is a cast iron pan, which is what you would like to use. That's the ideal pan. You can see it's already smoking, so it's hot, and I want it to be hot. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this. Let that heat up, and then we're gonna Toss in, you hear the sizzle? I'm gonna toss these in and cook these for about five minutes or so. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and garlic powder just because I like, I like it. And we're just gonna stir fry these until they get a little bit of a crispy edge on them. So our zucchini's done. I'm just gonna place it in a bowl right back here and then I'm gonna cook the shrimp in the same pan. All right, our pan is still smoking hot. I turned it down a bit. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it. And we're gonna cook these shrimp like a minute to a minute and a half, not very long because this pan is hot and we don't wanna overcook these. So probably a minute and a half, maybe two at the most. So here we go, we're gonna lay those right in there. All right, we're time to flip these over. Now I like to look right in here and see that these look like these are done. So I'm gonna take the shrimp and I'm gonna cut them up just because that's what I wanna do, but you can leave them whole if you want to, but I think the bite-sized pieces work well. I'm using corn tortillas for my tacos. You can use the small flour ones if you like. I have my uh, tortilla oven here and I'm gonna place a couple of my corn tortillas in it, pop it in the microwave for about 35, 40 seconds, and they will come out nice and tender and hot. Here's our hot, hot tortillas. I think you can see that they are steaming hot. Woo! I'm gonna start off with a little bit of our salad. In the bottom, and then I'm gonna add my grilled shrimp, look at that. And then our grilled veggies on top. This is so delicious, guys. And then I finish it off with just a light sprinkle of cheese. You could do whatever you want. If you wanna do more sour cream on top, you could. You could do avocado slices, chunks, guacamole, you know, whatever you want. My mouth is salivating. I can't wait to dig in because I know how good these are. And I think you guys really have to try them. All right, they're gonna be messy, but that's okay, it's worth it. 
these are so delicious. You can taste the heat, you know, not too much, but I definitely can taste the heat in the shrimp. And of course the coleslaw, everything together, all the flavors, the grilled veggies, man, it's awesome. I tell you what, I've got a guacamole recipe that would be just fantastic with this. I'm gonna leave a link for you right over here. Go ahead and click that, make my guacamole recipe and add it to this. It's gonna take it over the top. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Smash the like button for me so that other people can enjoy these recipes as well. It really does help. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.